hello guys welcome to electronic geek so today we will be starting with proteus design suit 8.9 uh, i will be uploading an entire tutorial series on how to use this software so proteus design 8.9 is basically a software used for making schematics and uh, in order to do circuit simulation and pcb designing and all that so today we will be uh, starting with uh, how to make basic kind of uh, schematics so to do that um, let's click on new project so, this. so first we will change this name to let's say proteus first and we follow these steps next next and finish so basically this is our entire workspace we are we can we have to make a schematic over here by selecting and placing the components and wiring all them so first of all to get uh, acquainted with all these things so these are basic uh, saving and opening projects and all these things this is pcp layout and 3d visualizer these both things are basically required when we uh, design pcp like we convert our schematic into a pcp so in order to do that we use this these tools and uh, other these all things are basically zoom in fit to screen and uh, all these things so first of all we will start with zooming in so when we click here see the, this has been zoomed in workspace has been zoomed in then this is the zooming out and this is fit to screen and this is a uh, zoom to an area which means we can zoom into a particular area like this see so these are the things now basically when we are drawing schematics grids are extremely important so in order to do those grids what we can uh, there there is setting under view so what we can do is if we uh, snap 0.5 inches see the grids have become larger in size so for the climbing we will be using 0.1 inch so first of all let's get acquainted to all these things here all these commands so this is the selection mode this is basically used to select any component a wire a bus or anything for the time being we are not having anything here so once we place components i'll be showing it this is the component mode so basically what is done here is we pick up components we place them in this container and we use them when we have to place it so there are two ways to place a component in this container first is we can press p in our keyboard pick so this is the first here we can search anything we want so the other way is clicking over here so uh, to start with uh, let's take a resistor for demo res we can type short uh, keyword for the resistor so this has been selected we can select other components too like this so we are selecting this this is the basic uh, schematic view so this is how this resistor will be shown in our workspace and this is the footprint footprints are used when we are creating pcbs so okay see we have resistor here now what we can have other thing is um, we, we can take a capacitor so let's try so capacitor see this so i click on okay so one more uh, component let's add so click on p then led so led are available in various colors so red blue yellow all these colors are available for the time being let's take led red so this is our led schematic symbol so here we are having all the all these three components in, in our container so if we have to place them on our uh, workspace what we can do is when uh, this can be done when we are in the component mode so make sure always that you are under the component mode so first let's uh, select resistor and uh, when we click on a workspace this is what we can see and this can be moved till we click to place it so this is i've clicked here and resistor has been placed and now uh, let's connect an led so when i click here on led and click on work in this sheet i get this led over here again click and this is what i've got now let's say i have to rotate this led so what can i do is i'll select this led first like this 
right click rotate anti clockwise see i've got this now in order to make connection i can say this pin um, wire over here so this red marking is uh, gives a confirmation that your wire is starting uh, from this and connection is perfect so let's click over here and uh, see while i got this red indication it means that this is connecting so when i click connection is established now what uh, we can do is uh, we will need we will be needing a battery to activate this circuit so there are two things like we can place a battery or we can put a dc source so uh, today we will be seeing how to put a battery so click on keyboard we can press p then battery so i can this thing and okay so i'll place battery has been selected so now i can place this like this and i'll connect them like this and from diode like this this completes our circuit but grounding is still left so in order to ground we will be going in the terminals mode this is the terminals mode in terminals mode we will be choosing ground and this ground can be placed here like this the other parts like default input and power will be discussed in the upcoming tutorials for the time being uh, ground is found under the terminals mode and going back to component mode now let's say i want to edit any of this component over here so every component has two things to add it one its value other thing its name so let's say i have to change this so name of this battery from b1 to let's say source so i'll double click and here the tool or uh, this text box that i get i'll write my name as source click on ok see name has been updated same for uh, r1 let's it, let's change it to resistor so double click on this change the name to resistor and same with this led and let's say now i have to change the value of this battery so i'll click here on 12 volt and i'll change this to 9v now the battery is of 12 volt and i have to change the value of resistor so i'll again double click on this 10k i can change this to anything let's say 100k or 1k for the time being let's keep 1k so this is how our circuit has been completed like this we can edit so uh let's uh, proceed see led glows over here we can see the led glowing like this we can stop simulation from here so one more thing uh, comes the here is if at all i have to uh, place a resistor of these same values so rather than selecting the resistor from here placing over here and updating the values what i can do is i can simply select this part like this now i have selected it now right click copy to clipboard and paste from clipboard see now i can place this anywhere now see as this is a copy the name shall be resistor one value is the same no two components can have the same so i'll connect it like this two resistors in parallel like this so like this we can copy and place this anywhere in our circuit and let's try it again by simulating see led glows over here so in the next lecture we shall be dealing with the other uh, other tools as cut rotate all those things and other terminal modes and how to plot graphs and all those things so till then uh, stay tuned and do like share comment subscribe and do let me know your valuable feedback in the comment section thank you for being till here thank you so much